देव वॉचमैन Bandit! 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 Bandit!
You okay in there? Don't touch me, you asshole! Where do you think you're going? Hey, I'm talking to you! Somebody help me! What's wrong with you? Somebody help me! Help me! He's a maniac! Somebody please help me! Help me! He's gonna kill me! Help! Please open the door! Open the door! Open it's it! Open. The door is open! This is insane. Oh, God. Good morning. Where am I? Right on the table. But why? 
Don't ask me, Dad. Try drinking less. Where am I, mister? In a health retreat, lady. Don't remember much, huh? I need water. Bathroom's that way. Why are you so rude? Look at the state you're in. And all around you. You gonna pay for that? <sighs> Did you bash me around or what? Like you'd let me. You gonna pay for the damage? Why is it so cold in here? You cracked the window open. So not a nut job? You okay in the head? Yep. Fell off the wagon? I want a cup of hot tea. Pay me for the window. And for smashed crockery. Then you get your tea. I got nothing. In that case, I'm calling the cops. I'm sure they'll make you tea. Relax, I'll pay you. Did you even see my car? I'm gonna drive back to the city and I'll get cash from my credit card. But first, I need a hot bath. And a glass of bubbly, right? Fine. Which way is reception? I want to rent a room. No one's in. The place is closed. Just me here. Well, then I'm leaving. Like hell you are. As if. Pay up. Or I'm calling the cops. Listen, you. Now you're just asking for trouble. Now. No need for that. Fine. You okay to drive? Yeah, I'll manage. You can stay, get a rest and a bath. I'm fine. It's a short drive to the city. Hold on. I'll clear the road for you. I'm sorry about it's that. It's okay. Got any vodka? No. Uh, I thought I was a goner. Was fine just walking down the road, but then the blizzard started. I couldn't see anything. Uh, if only I knew. I'd put up with all your screeching and nagging. Just to stay in the car. How much for the mess? I think I could fix the gates myself. So the window, the kitchenware. Say ten grand. You're here all by yourself? The resort's closed. 
What about your boss? Haven't seen him in six months. That's some job, man. Listen. How about we stay here for a week? Why don't you put us up at the far end somewhere? And if anyone comes, just tell them about us. And we'll be real quiet. Uh, for each day you'll get another one of these. What about the rest? There's no need. You can stay here. Breakfast at 8, dinner's at 7. You put one foot wrong, and you're out of here. Sure thing. I'm sick and tired of this. Every day is the same goddamn thing. You drunken bitch. You're lucky he didn't call the cops. Should have kicked you out of the car. You asked to get out of it. That's because you wouldn't shut up. If I say we need to go, then you just shut up and go. Why the hell did you drag me with you? I would have rather stayed at home. I can't even look at you right now. Where did you think you're going? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Can I have another room, please? Will it help? Sorry. Made a bit of a racket. Are you done yet? I'll ask you again. Can I have another room? Take any room you like. Come on. That's the way the cookie crumbles. You married? Good night. Hey there, good morning. Any chance of a breakfast? There's food on the stove in the cafeteria. Been working here long? Long enough. What's so funny? No offense. Just weird. You're a big guy, smart. 
What are you doing working in this place? I'm guarding it. Yeah, I got that. But like, did something happen? Can't be too choosy these days for sure. But this place is just hopeless. It's a job for hobos. Oh, are you, you know, challenged? Hey, I didn't mean it like that. It's not like you can help it. Shit happens, so... I know. Oh no, you don't! You stupid woman! Stop! Stop! Did you fix the gates? Just call her. Got no cell phone on us. Left them at home on purpose. Stubborn bitch! I'm worried sick and you just drive off to get booze? What if someone saw you in the city? I'm having a hard time too. Can't you lay off the stuff for one day? I want to get shit-faced too, you know? I'm talking to you, bitch. <clears throat> I'm gonna kick the door in. No, you won't. Now you're gonna bust my balls too? Stay out of this. One more roll and you're both out. Mm. Wanna have a drink? Will it make you feel better? No. Then what's the point? Does everything have to have a point with you? <gasps> they found us! Oh. Vera! You okay? No. We have to get out no, of here. No, don't. Or we'll burn the shit out of this place. Hey, where are you, son of a bitch? It's not you they want. Come on. Enough already. Don't be scared. Grow a bear. Hey, where are you? Get here now before we burn this motherfucking place down! Promise we won't kick you to death! Come on! Get down here! You're hiding? Huh? The fucker hiding! You weren't hiding when you were doing some fucking up shit! But now you're breaking! Yeah? Don't be scared! Don't you fear! Vlad! Stop being such a worse man! Who's here? Well, come on, get down here. I see you're alive and well, you little bitch. Why so quiet? You're sitting pretty here. Nice and quiet. No one bothering you. Bloody spa resort. It's a healthy retreat. After all, pine trees, fresh air. Look how healthy he looks. Yeah, it's nothing at all like prison. 
Do you sleep well? At night? You got nothing to say? Why doesn't hell open up and swallow you whole? Why so quiet, Buster? <laughs> Say something, you bitch! Huh? <sighs> Why waste energy on him, son? Let's just take him into the woods. It's a dark night out there. He'll get lost. The wolves ate him. Are you serious, Palich? You actually want to whack him? Do you think he doesn't deserve it? Come on, guys, don't go there. The deal was to give him a good beating. Nothing more. Shut up. If you're burning him alive, it will be going easy on him. Dad. Can you go get the gas, please? Hey, 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 man. Valich, what the hell are you doing? Hey, what Stars the hell are you help doing? Him. How? Do you want to go to prison? Stay this! Here. What are you doing, you fuckwits? him alive they're not gonna do it give me the lighter dad You better leave this place. You got off easy today. Next time they get shit face, who knows? They will either burn or hang you. Just like your dog. Yeah. Some peace and quiet you got here. Let's get some sleep. Dude, we gotta know if it's safe for us to stay here. I mean, not if this is a daily gig. It's not. Anyway, if you don't like it here, you're free to leave. Why did they do this to you? Doesn't matter. And what does matter? That I'd lose my job over this. Why didn't you put up a fight? There were three of them. So it's easier to burn alive? 
What's it to you? I don't ask you why you drink yourself stupid every day. Go ahead and ask me. What good will it do? I won't feel any better. And neither will you. So nothing's gonna change. You're right. What's the use in feeling sorry for each other? It won't make things better. Darling. Maybe give your liver a break? It's my nerves that need a break. Not if you get the shakes, because then it's bye-bye nerves. I don't care. Seriously? What about me? I'll be all alone? You're always alone anyways, so no change there. That's harsh. Want me to feel sorry for you? Feel sorry for yourself. Because I'm all good. I believe you. Don't touch me, bastard! This guy gave us shelter. And you didn't even come out to help him. You worm. And that's my life in a nutshell. Don't listen to her. I was gonna help, but I knew they were just messing with you. Don't worry about it. Enough already.
Yes? Mind if I join you? What? Feeling rough? Yeah. Come in. One tea? Yeah, all right. What's your name? You're not going to tell me? Why should I tell you? I had just finished university when my mother left us. Dad started to drink. I took care of my two young brothers, one in school, the other a registered offender. He broke into a shop. So I worked two shifts, then spent half the night cooking or looking for my father all over town so he wouldn't freeze to death in a ditch. This one time I went to a club with my friend I got really drunk as I was down, just letting loose, throwing myself on every guy I see. And then there's this one guy in the corner just sitting and watching me. Stas? He turned out to be quite well off. We got married a week later. I wasn't thinking about whether I loved him or not. I just knew that I was as safe as houses. Yeah, safe as houses. I couldn't get pregnant for a long time, though. And then he started to become kind of jumpy. Not talking, hardly sleeping. Any question I asked, all I got was shut it, teach. I was gonna leave him. And then bam. I'm three months pregnant. I gave birth. Then about two years in, he got sick, really sick. We saw lots of doctors and no one knew how to make him better. 
it was too late. We couldn't save him. I started drinking heavily. He had a meltdown at work. Flipped out badly. Then one day he redirected all of the money from the company accounts. He grabbed me and and we just fled. Can I help you? I think I might be lost. Where were you going? Hotel. It's in the city. Should have stayed in the main road. And what is this place? A health retreat. It's closed. Any chance I could stay here for the night? I told you this place is closed. There's a hotel in the city. Got it. Okay, well, thanks. <laughs> Have a safe trip. Tell Stats, I'll be back tonight. Who? Tell him not to panic, I came alone. No one else knows. Thank you.
He's gone. What did he look like? Tall, big, expensive car, missing a finger on his right hand. Bigger. Said that he came alone and that he'll be back tonight. How did they find us? We made no plans, just drove straight ahead. You thought you could hide from them? Enough out of you, smartass. Did you pay for your booze by card? What if he really did come here alone? You want to stay here and check? Okay. We can't leave the building now. They'll see us. When he comes back, just play dumb. No one's here. No one came. We'll leave when night comes. Is Dad still here? I told you, there's no one here. Patience, girl. I'll handle this. What are you standing here for? Open the gate! Oh, Team Arakovich? Is that you? No, it's your mama. Open the gate, damn it! Now! They'll let us in, and you have your sauna and your swim pool. Guess where? <laughs> so, any news? Nobody. Still no one here. <laughs> I'm gonna stay here. What? But we were going to the sauna. I'm tired and drunk. Just want to slip it off. <laughs> Suit yourself. Okay then, lady, <laughs> shall we? Are we gonna come back here later? Sure we are. <laughs> of course we'll come back. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Sauna time. Come on, come on. Sauna time. Sauna time. Okay, watchman. Go tell him. I I'm thought I told you. Don't fuck with me. They are here. I need to talk to Stas. Stas who? If I want to bring him down, the place would be surrounded. Go tell him to not freak out. Go now. Because they don't stand a chance without me. Get in. Let go of me! I said get I'm in! I'm not going anywhere! Start!
You asshole! I just want to talk! I'm here, trying to save your ass! You got me! You got me! Don't shoot! Throw your gun! Well, hi there, beggar. You alone? Be honest now. Yes, for the time being. How come? <laughs> Just wanted to talk. About what? <sighs> He's bleeding. I can see that. Gotta get him to a hospital. Are you a doctor? <laughs> he'll bleed to death. Are you a doctor? But he'll die. <laughs> exactly. So I'd better hurry up. Got a few questions to ask. So get off my back. Listen to him. Shut it, you. Listen. Well? I really don't need to get to the hospital. Why did you come? When they found out, you made a run for it. They checked the account and saw you cleaned them out. Oh, I should have left all the money to you guys? While you were planning to ditch me? You're upset, I get it. <laughs> but it's not just your money. And so you thought I'd share with you? I'm trying to help you escape. You're not serious planning on hiding here forever. How did you find me? So far no one else knows you're here, just me. How did you find me? She called me. Asked me to help. We will fix this, Stats. You said it out. Bogatov is not gonna be there forever. If you want gunning for him, call me in an ambulance. Go back inside. What are you doing, Stats? Come on. You got two gunshot wounds. The medics are gonna call the cops. And what are you gonna tell them? I want to rat you out. Don't play the pity card. You know the deal. Get the fuck out of here! Fuck. Come on, Stats. Don't be a monster. Son of a bitch! <sighs> that bastard! That's what I get for feeling sorry for him! <sighs> mm. You missed the liver, so that's good. I don't get it. Are you a, a doctor? You need an operation. No, I don't. <sighs> and lift. <sighs> Keep it together. The faster we get inside, the less blood you lose. What about him? Bastard! Kitchen. Give me a large pot from the stove. 
Bring chlorine, a bucket of water, knife and two forks. A knife and two forks. Move it! <laughs> Press on it. Press hard. Try not to pass it. What are you doing? Sing something. Why? Well, now you don't fall asleep. Mm. Through the raspberry shrubs, through the arrow wood ticket, onwards to the puppy's birthday party. The rubber hedgehog with a raspberry hat and a hole in his side. Trudge through the hedgehog hat, but an umbrella, a hat, and a pair of rain boots. Pretty the ladybug and each flower on his way. The hedgehog gracefully bowed. Hello, fir trees. Why are you so prickly? Or are we all just wolves to you? Pour the chlorine into the bucket. Mm. Pour some into the pot. The rest goes in the basin. You should be ashamed of yourselves. It hurts when... That's it. Stop. That's it. Stop. The sun. Sun's bright. Onward to the puppy's birthday party. Mm. The rubber hedgehog marched on it and whistled through the hole in his Happy side in his side what the it in. I can't remember the lyrics Can you remember the tune then whistle it Anything better? Fair enough, we'll press the tampon in and hold it there. <laughs> Is he gonna live? Don't know. Wait here.
Vera. Vera. <laughs> Get me some water. Thank you. Would you look at that? With forks, huh? Damn. And yet he lives in the woods. Stas. How long were we gonna keep on running? You don't trust anyone. There's no one to help us. We got nowhere to run. And he is your friend. Was your friend. So why did he come here to fleece us? Well, because he didn't tell anyone we're here. Maybe he didn't. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, well, I don't know who else you called. Maybe you want to rat me out so that they spare you, or maybe that's your revenge. Or maybe you just can't wait to die. I saw you up on that roof. Is that what you think? The hell I know. Like, how stupid are you? Friends, my ass. That's bullshit. <coughs> They are going all out to get rid of me. Alive, I'm like cancer to them. If they don't end me, I'll end them. So, if you want to croak, that's fine by me. But count me out. Oh, you'll live, Stas. You're tenacious. You'll outlive us all. God willing. If I were any different, we'd be living like cattle. What good is this life? What good is all this money that we have now? Tell me, what good is it now? That he's gone? Didn't seem to bother you before, huh? Mm, you were okay with it, weren't you? All set and sitting pretty. I was stupid. I didn't know that there was a price to pay. Don't think about it. It's okay as long as we're living the good life. And now we'll be choking on every single penny we have. You're grieving and losing your marbles. That's all this is. As soon as we get out of this mess, you'll go see a specialist. We won't get out. So you pull through. Are you a saint by any chance? Ever raised people from the dead?
Hello. Hey. How are you feeling? Like a new man. It's a miracle. We'll be out of your hair in a couple of days. So, what have you been up to? You two thought I was done for? As you said, I'm tenacious. I'm not leaving with you. Go away. What have you done? Go away. What the fuck did you do that for? Get out or I'll scream. And? He'll come running? Go ahead. <laughs> What have I got to lose? I've lost Sashka and now you. To hell with it all. Look, I'm sorry. I just can't take it anymore. You no longer love me? I never did. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> we gotta stick together, don't you see? We won't make it alone. We can't. You won't cope without me. Yes, I will. <laughs> But I won't. Don't you get it? I won't. That's enough. Enough. From now on, we go our separate ways.
Stop! Stay away from me, you asshole! What are you doing, you idiot? Don't come any closer! Calm back down, stupid! Stay away from me! Vera, don't do it! Stas! Go to hell! You're not gonna get me. Okay, you win. I'll let you go. Take the car and the money and go wherever you please. You're not gonna get me. Honey, don't do it. This is crazy. You're not gonna get me. You're not gonna get me. I love you. Go fuck yourself. Think you're better than me? <laughs> Think she'll start a new and happy life with you? She'll still end up in a loony bin or drink herself to death. She's a nutcase. That's why I married her. Sure, I didn't tell her about my work stuff. But you think she didn't know who she was living with and where the money was coming from? Of course she did, and that means she was okay with it. <sighs> she lost it. When Sashka died, that's all. So you can stop drooling over her, bonehead. What kind of life can you give her? She's just freaking out. Doesn't know what to do with herself. Do you know what to do with her? I'm going to call Bogatov. They'll come for him this evening. What? He's never going to let me go. I know that. But they'll kill him. I've got money. It's not a lot. But if we're careful, it'll last us a couple of years. We can run away, you'll work as a doctor. Run away? Why not? You think this will fix everything? No, I don't think it'll fix everything. 
but we can at least give it a try. Don't you want the chance to start over again? Brought here in at night. Open femoral fracture, artery ruptured. She was bleeding out in buckets. Blamed herself. Jaywalker crossed the road at a red light. Was in a hurry to get home. It was her birthday after all. So she ran. The driver who hit her brought her in. She was awake for about five minutes. Kept asking us not to tell her husband and son. Afraid they'd get mad at her. She was in shock, see? They put her on the table. And as luck would have it, I was barely hungover. Hands shaking. Couldn't even pick up the scalpel. Just kept looking at her and thinking. Why should you live? Why do you need your life? The assistant is shouting and cursing at me. But I just stand there frozen as if I was the one hit by the car. They dragged the other surgeon out of the bed, but it was too late. Cardiac arrest. She died. I was young. Best surgeon in the district. Worked for 10 years and lost my edge. So many sick people. Every other patient needed surgery. Six operations a day. No money, no sleep. heart. Everything was shit. The people were shit, and I was shit. Don't make that phone call. Don't do it. You never forgive yourself.
Get up now. What the hell, man? Get up, they're coming for you. It's true. Don't you dare. Like I'd bother. Bitch! Who are you? The Watchman. We're looking for two people, a married couple. We received a call saying they're here. Is that the case? They were here. And now? Please understand. It would be better for you if you told me the truth. They must have offered you a lot of money for your silence. But no money is worth what would happen to you if you lie to me right now. They left. What about their car back there? It broke down. You can check. So how did they leave them? Taxi. What make? License plate? The dark sedan. Don't remember. We could run the number plate, but it's no good once they switch cars. Listen, I'm telling you the truth. Yes, they stayed here. Let them in because they paid me. They were at each other's throats every day. Then one of your men came here. The guy killed him. The bitch freaked out and called you. He beat her up. Called for a taxi about an hour ago. Grabbed her and left. And why didn't he kill you? You're a witness. I hid the car and the body. Stas is an animal. He would have whacked him as soon Andrew. as... Looks like the place is empty. Have you checked every room? There's 300 rooms in this thing. Where are they? Take off your belt, Vanya. Why me? Let him do it. Mm. I can't. My pants will fall off. I lost five kilos, man. I said take it off. Not gonna beat him up with my own fist, right? Grab him. Come on.
Get off my back. <laughs> What did you want from me? <clears throat> Do I kill him or what? Listen to me, Watchmen. I know they're here. You're hiding them here somewhere safe. Finish him off. Hello, stars. Hello, Tolia. We nearly had him killed. He's strong-headed. You must have paid him well. Well enough. Did you leave anything for me? Are we good? You, please, I'm begging you. Please let him go. Just let him go. He gave it all back. We'll disappear, I swear to you. Tolia. I can't. I really can't. No, please don't! <laughs> Vera, stop, don't.